Hi, how are you doing? So I'm going to talk to someone very special in a second who's doing something that's never been done before. Not only is she going to be doing this for the first time in Vibram Five Fingers, she's the first woman to do it, and in fact actually the first human being to do it, which is amazing. So Laura, what are you doing? I am going to be running 290 miles of the Macmillan Way in six days. And nobody's run this course before, have they? No, not to my knowledge. Um, I've done quite a bit of Google research um, and I've got hold of the people at Macmillan and no, nobody seems to know anybody else that's run it. So you've broken a record before you've even started, as long as you get to the other end, of course. As long as I complete it, yes, that's the hope. Tell us what the Macmillan Way is and where it runs from and to. Sure. So basically the Macmillan Way, um, it starts in Boston in Lincolnshire and it runs kind of down uh, Northamptonshire way, um, kind of Oxfordshire, through the Cotswolds, Somerset, through Dorset, and it ends in Abbotsbury in, in Dorset, on the beach actually. And the thinking behind it was basically to raise awareness of Macmillan, um, but it's not obviously quite so well known as a trail. So I wanted to raise money for Macmillan. And so I was just doing a little bit of research and I discovered that there was this path um, and yeah it's 290 miles and I thought well I reckon I could run that. So is there a personal reason why you're doing this? There is actually so um, as I'm sure many people have experienced um, you know friends and family with cancer I've got a good friend who was diagnosed about seven years ago now um, when she was 40 and she was told that she literally had kind of weeks months at best to live um, it was breast cancer that she was diagnosed with, but it had rapidly spread. So seven years later, she's still doing really well. And she's been supported throughout the whole process by Macmillan. Um, and she's still undergoing treatment. She can't run. So I figured, well, you know, what better, what better cause really than to run for something that's helped her and her husband so much. And yeah, it just kind of all fitted into place, really. Tell us about the route then, about where you're going and how it works and what kind of terrain you're gonna be running over. I mean, is it pretty pretty steady? Is it flat? Uh, are there any sort of bits that perhaps you're less looking forward to? Yeah, so I can't tell you about the whole route because the fact is I haven't run the whole route. I've practiced probably about a third of it. So I've been up to Boston and I practiced the first 40 miles and I can tell you with confidence that it's very flat because it goes all across the fens, um, which is really good, a really good thing to start on. Um, perhaps I got a little bit confident after that and then, uh, you know, I thought, oh, I'll, I'll practice the end bit as well because I, I'm in Somerset, so I can practice kind of Bruton, Castle Carey, right down to Abbotsbury. So when I did those sections, I realised actually this is quite a bit harder than I'd anticipated. It gets really hilly um, down towards the, the south west coast, as I'm sure a lot of you will appreciate. Um, yeah, through a lot of farmland, there's a lot of sections that actually aren't signposted at all. Um, so I have a GPX um, file that I've downloaded, obviously, so I, could, I can follow it on a map, I can follow it on GPX, but it's not necessarily waymarked. So yeah, from a kind of navigational perspective, it's quite mentally draining in some sections. And I think that's what worried me most. Um, Let's talk about shoes then. Um, what are you going to be wearing? And are you going to be changing uh, Vibra Five Fingers through the terrain? Are you going to be changing up or are you going to stick to the same pair? What, what's the plan? Okay, so the plan is that I will be wearing probably the same pair of Vibram Five Fingers. Um, I say probably because I've trained um, kind of high mileage and I've worn one pair and I've trained, you know, up to about 200 miles in a pair. What are they, by the way? Laura, what ones are you wearing? I'm wearing the, v the sorry, the V-Trail, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, cool. They're the ones that I just find really work well for me. I've never had any issues with them, um, touch wood. Uh, they are really comfy. Um, I don't get, don't seem to have any blister problems or any issues, so I'm going to stick to what I know. How long have you been wearing them, and why do you think? Why would are, are they the best choice for you for doing this challenge? Okay, so I haven't always run in Vibram Five Fingers. I started off, um, as many runners do, you know, trying out a whole range of of just what I would call normal running shoes, for want of a better word. Um, 
But I found that they really pinched my toes and I found that they rubbed me a lot. And, you know, yes, there's the cushioning, so you don't really feel how you're running, I suppose. But I just, I just never felt comfortable at the end of a run. And I take my shoes off and think, you know, why do my feet hurt so much all the time? And why have my toes all rubbed? And I feel, I basically felt so free when I took my trainers off. And I thought, this can't be right. You know, something doesn't quite sit right here. When my feet got used to the five fingers, they just felt, it just felt right. So it doesn't feel like I'm, you know, trying to cram my toes into unsuitable footwear now. It kind of feels like putting on, a, literally putting on a glove for my foot. So it's really comfy. Um, I feel like my legs can move the way they're meant to move. So before, if I rolled my foot um, on a loose stone or in a ditch or something, you know, the whole, your, your kind of foot's being held by this trainer and you, you twist your ankle and it could be really sore. If I roll on a stone or something now, like my, my foot can move with it. So my body can move and I can right myself and I don't get injured half as much as I used to. So it's a very different style of running. Um, I'm not fast by any stretch, but I can keep moving and I can keep moving because my feet aren't getting sore. Um, my legs are much stronger, my calves are strong, my ankles are strong. And all in all, I just feel much better for it, to be honest with you. So for me, it was a really good move transitioning. Uh, we're going to follow you where, as you sort of go through your, your route. What day do, you, day do you start? I start running on the 23rd of July. OK, so if you're watching this now and it's post the 23rd of July, uh, then Laura's already off, but that's fine because um, there's a link around me. If you're watching this on the website right now, there's a link around me uh, where you'll be able to uh, donate. And if you go and follow us, Barefoot Junkie, on Instagram and Facebook, or what's uh, how do people get in touch with you on Instagram? So on Instagram, I'm at Briggsy1, that's B-R-I-G-G-S-Y-1. Um, I also have a Facebook page, which is 290-mile uh, Macmillan FKT Challenge or something like that. It's very long-winded, but there's a Facebook page where I'll be posting a tracker as well, so people can follow me on the tracker. Great, so we'll keep on top of what uh, Laura's doing as she goes down the Macmillan Way and uh, well fingers crossed and best of luck and um, I'm looking forward to um, tracking your progress thank you ever so much Paul